Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can create this kind of 3D stroke logo reveal animations in Adobe After Effects without using any plugins easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel, link in the description, okay? So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here we are in After Effects. Now let's start this by creating a new composition. So for that, click on this new composition here. Now come to this preset options. Here I will be selecting this HD 1080, which is a full HD resolution with a frame rate of 24 and duration of 10 seconds. Hit OK. So now let's import our logo onto this project panel. So for that, right click on this project panel, import, select your file, or else you can directly drag and drop your logo onto this project panel. So make sure whichever logo you are using, it should be in PNG format that is transparent background. Okay. So now select this logo and drop it onto this timeline here. So now let's reduce the scaling. So select the logo once again, press S on the keyboard and reduce the scaling here like this. So I think this much is fine. Okay. So select the logo once again, go to this layer options and select this auto traced option. So make sure this apply to new layer is enabled and hit OK. So here we got a new layer created with the name auto trace. So let me hide out this below logo layer. Fine. Let me change the resolution to quarter. So let me select this auto tracer layer. Come to this effects and presets panel here. If you're not finding this panel here, go to this window and enable effects and presets and look for stroke. So select this stroke from generate and drop it onto this auto tracer layer. Fine. So first come to this path options here. For this logo, I got only single mask. Depending on logo, we might get multiple masks here. Okay. So enable this all mask options. So now come to this paint style and change this to reveal original image. So now if I increase this brush size, we can see we got this outline only. So let me change this brush size to 50. Okay, fine. So now let's see how we can animate this stroke. So for that, beyond the first frame here, add a keyframe for this end option here and change this to 0% and move forward in timeline like 7 seconds and change this to 100%. So now if I play this, we can see we got this stroke animation here. So select this auto tracer layer, press U on the keyboard, select these keyframes here and press F9 to easy ease them. Click on this graph editor. Let me select this handle. Let me bring it here. Let me select this handle and let me change the graph shape here like this. Fine. So now if I play this once again, we can see we got this nice stroke animation. Fine. So now let me select this auto tracer layer, right click and pre-compose it. Move all attributes and hit OK. So now let's change this to 3D layer. So click on this 3D icon here. If you're not finding this option here, click on this toggle switches. We'll get that. Make it as 3D layer. So after changing this to 3D layer, we need to add a camera layer to view this in 3D space. So go to this layer options, new create a camera and preset. I will change this to 35 mm and hit OK. So long press onto this camera icon here and select this unified camera tool. You can press C on the keyboard for that. And now let me change the position here like this. So now you can see this is looking flat. So now let's see how we can add extrusion for this logo. Okay. So select this auto tracer layer, duplicate it 20 times. Depending upon the size of extrusion, you can do multiple copies. So I will duplicate this 20 times. Let me select this auto tracer layer, press Ctrl plus T to duplicate it. Okay. So now press P on the keyboard and change this Z position to minus one. So now again, duplicate this 19 times. So let me do that. So here you can see I have duplicated this auto tracer layer 19 times. So let me select all these auto tracer layers. Press P on the keyboard for position options. Okay. So now from here, I need to let me select this one also. So here it is minus one. So I will change this to next one to minus two, next one to minus three, and next layer to minus four, and next one to minus 5 so in this way I will change this Z axis value to minus 20 
so now you can say we got this depth here or extrusion here okay so let me select all this auto tracer layer press p fine so now let's change the color of this stroke so for that let me select this auto tracer layer let me come to this auto tracer one come to this effects and presets and look for fill so select this fill and drop it onto this auto tracer layer so from here we can change any color we want so i will change this to i think okay this is fine or else okay i think this is fine and hit okay so if i come to this main comp we can see all this strokes have been changed to same color nice first of all let me add a background come to this layer options new create a solid let me rename this to bg make it of comp size and hit okay so come to this effects and presets once again and look for gradient ramp so it's such as ramp here so select this gradient ramp and drop it onto this background layer and the color let me change this to green and the start color let me select and change this to green and bring it here a bit dark okay fine so let me place this here below to this our original logo right so now if i play this we can see we got this 3d stroke logo reveal here so let's see how we can add shadows so select this last auto tracer layer and search for fill once again add fill onto this last auto tracer layer and let me change this color to black fine so now again search for radial fast blur so select this cc radial fast blur and drop it onto this below auto tracer layer and position i will change this here so amount i will change this to 75 okay so now if i play this once again we can say we got shadows also okay so now select this above auto tracer layer and let me apply fill once again onto this select this and let me search as fill let me apply fill onto this here and let me select this color and let me change this as bright change it as bright fine so now let's see how we can animate this camera so be on the first frame here or else be on the seventh second in the timeline and first let me adjust the logo yes right on strike so i think this is fine so select this camera layer expand this options come to this transform options and add a keyframe for this position point of interest position and orientation okay so now move to the first frame and select this unified camera tool and change the position here like this and also let me zoom it up select this track the camera tool and zoom it here okay so now if i play this we can see we got this nice 3d stroke logo reveal animation fine so finally so press u on the keyboard select this come to this keyframes here so now select this all auto tracer layers press t on the keyboard for opacity options add a keyframe for opacity so now move 10 frames forward so hold shift key and press page down to move 10 frames forward and change the opacity to zero okay so now select your original logo layer here enable it okay so press t on the keyboard for opacity options add a keyframe here so now come to this keyframe here so press j on the keyboard to come to these keyframes and change the opacity to zero so now if i play this we can see we got this nice 3d stroke logo reveal animation here so in this way we can create this kind of logo reveal animations in adobe after effects without using any plugins easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye